Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. So let us discuss the software engineering and project management module 5 through the online platforms. We already started module 5 and covered the topics the software maintenance, need for the maintenance and examples of maintenance and the most important thing in the maintenance is the type of maintenance uh, what are the types of maintenance and how do we handle each of that type then we discussed about the risk so what is the risk in a software engineering and what are the project risk management steps and we gone deep details of those in all those four steps that is risk identification risk quantification and risk response and risk monitoring and control then we talked about uh, risk management process and uh, importance of a uh, keeping a risk register that must be covered during the class session. So today let us discuss about risk assessment and management in software development life cycle. We already studied the software development life cycle in module 1 and we know the steps of software development life cycle. The very first steps of the software development life cycle is the preliminary analysis. We may think that is there is any risk in the preliminary analysis stage? What is what is there in, in what is the risk factor in there? So basically what is happening at the preliminary analysis stage? In the preliminary analysis stage what we do is we will look into the organization's objective, the nature and scope of problem under study, propose alternative solutions and proposals after having the deep understanding of problem and what competitors are doing to solve this problem. And also we will discuss or describe the cost and benefit by developing this new software product to solve this problem. So when we go through all these steps, is there is any risk involved in the preliminary analysis stage? Or what? how do we assess the risk? The assessment of risk and also the management of risk. What do we do in the preliminary analysis stage? In order to manage the, the risk in the preliminary analysis stage, we have to establish a process and responsibilities for risk management and document initial known risk and project manager should prioritize the risk as well. Those are the risk management activities we do under preliminary analysis stage. And the second point is the system analysis and requirement definition. And this requirement definition in this stage is there is any risk. Or is there is any risk management is needed at, at the system analysis and requirement uh, definition stage. The support activities for the risk management at this stage are identify assets that need to be protected and assigning their 
criticality in terms of confidentiality, integrity and availability. And identify threats and resulting risks to those assets. Determine existing security controls to reduce that risk. So, what does that mean? Identify assets that need to be protected and assigning their criticality in terms of confidentiality, integrity and availability. Identify threats and resulting risks to those assets. What it means is, when you gather this uh, requirements and when you analysis any requirement, what are the things you needed in order to develop this software product, especially the data. The data is must be Sometimes you may be dealing with a very critical system which involves a confidential data. So you need, you need to keep those confidential data in a secure way. So all those things you have to consider. Okay. So in short, we can divide this phase into five sub-phases. That is feasibility study. Requirement elicitation, requirement analysis, requirement validation, and requirement documentation. So, in the system analysis and requirement definition phase, we can divide that into five sub phases. Those are feasibility study, requirement elicitation, requirement analysis, requirement validation requirement documentation. So what are the risk factors in requirement sorry in, in feasibility study? We already discussed what is feasibility study in an earlier module. So, in the feasibility study, the project manager often make a mistake in estimate, estimating cost, time, resources and scope of the project. Unrealistic budget, time, inadequate resources and unclear scope often leads to project failure. That is the risk in the feasibility study. So what is unrealistic budget? That is inaccurate estimation of budget may lead to project running out of funds early in the software development life cycle. Accurate estimation budget is directly related to correct knowledge of time, effort and resources. Unrealistic schedule is incorrect time estimation lead to a burden on developers by project managers to deliver projects on time, thus compromising overall quality of the project and thus making the system less secure and more vulnerable. So what is insufficient resources? In some case the technology tools available are not up to date to meet project requirements or resources available are not enough to complete the project. In any case, the project will get delayed or in worst case, it may lead to project failure. So that is what the insufficient resources is.
it can be the resources can be the people tools or technology okay so what is unclear project scope clear understanding of what project is supposed to do which functionalities are important which functionalities are mandatory which functionalities can be considered as extra is very important for project managers insufficient knowledge of the system may lead to project failure 